So I was reading this article online today and I was talking about vintage old toys and the potential money you can make off of it. And it just had me kind of scratching my head and the fact of like, I feel like it was leading people astray. And it was because of the list of toys that they had listed. Yes, there are a handful on there that they had going that, yes, you can make money off of it. J.I. Joe's, Barbie, Playmobil, Legos. But there was also some that had me questioning like, why? Why would you do that to people? Let's just say Cabbage Patch dolls. And that was because a couple had a 5,000 doll collection up that they're trying to sell for $30,000. That's kind of misleading. Or Beanie Babies, y'all. Beanie Babies. And don't get me wrong about Beanie Babies. There's Claude the Crab, who has an air tag and be up worth up to thousands of dollars. But my biggest point on a lot of this is do your research. There is money to be made in toys. And yes, you could make money off of Legos and Playmobil and Transformers and G.I. Joes and Barbies and Bratz and Furbies, but you have to know what you're looking for. So my biggest thing is watch the videos that you can get your hands on, take notes if you need to, write down the name of brands that are that are Bolos. And Bolo is be on the lookout. So learn what you can, take in all the knowledge that you can, and you'll make some money. But do not let these articles just send you astray and into the wild thinking that every little thing on their list is going to be worth something. So if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. <laughs>